In the practice exercise from page 301 in the textbook, we're looking at determining the polarity of individual bonds. So they're giving us four different bonds. We're looking at a bond between sulfur and chlorine, a bond between sulfur and bromine, a bond between selenium and chlorine, and between selenium and bromine. So the best way to rank the polarity of these bonds is to figure out their difference in electronegativity, because the difference in electronegativity tells us if we've got bonds that are polar or nonpolar. So I've got this electronegativity chart down here for you. So we're just going to look up the values of electronegativity for each of these substances. So starting with sulfur, we can see that sulfur has an electronegativity value of 2.5. So every time I see sulfur, I'm just going to write 2.5. And then I can find chlorine, and I see that chlorine has an electronegativity value of 3.0. I can find selenium with an electronegativity value of 2.4 and I can see that bromine has an electronegativity value of 2.8. So if I do the math there, I can see that the difference between sulfur and chlorine is 0.5, the difference between sulfur and bromine is 0.3, the difference between selenium and chlorine is 0.6, and the difference between selenium and bromine is 0.4. So to be the most polar you want to have the largest difference in electronegativity. So our largest electronegativity difference is going to be the bond between selenium and chlorine because that had a difference of 0 0.6 and we don't worry about units for electronegativity. If I had any of these that had a value for zero, I would know that they were nonpolar, but using these electronegativity values, I can rank them so I can see that the most polar bond was between selenium and chlorine, and the least polar bond was between sulfur and bromine. This is also something you should feel pretty comfortable doing in terms of just looking at the periodic table in general, not looking at the specific values, because you can see that generally the electronegativity increases as you move to the right in a period and as you move up in a group.